Uh, Wayne Grant, thank you for 70 South African Rand. Could you explain how shielding GPS wires helps with quicker sats lock? Yes. Um, so, first of all, Wayne, let me say that there are many things that can make a difference in your GPS performance. Not all of them will make a difference for everybody. So you'll see people out there who say, you got to shield your wires, man. And other people will be like, well, I tried that and it didn't work. It, nothing is guaranteed, but it's not, it's not just BS. Um, the reason that the GPS struggles to get lock on a small quadcopter is that there is a huge amount of electrical noise, largely from the video transmitter, but also if you have a receiver that is a telemetry receiver, the telemetry transmissions make noise, and <clears throat> the flight controller itself, the microprocessor, I've, I've heard, I've been told that the microprocessors can, that they run at around one kilohertz and they can, or something, I, I'm going to get the details wrong, I apologize. But basically the microprocessor can make electrical noise right around the frequency that messes with the GPS unit. Um, and so there's normally on a big quadcopter, the GPS is, antenna is far away from those things. And so just because electrical noise falls off exponentially as the, as the Q, uh, sorry, uh, as the inverse square of the distance, yes, uh, it just doesn't, you just move things far away from each other and it's fine. But on a small quadcopter, that's not an option. So sh speaking of shielding the wires, what you're doing there is the wires are acting like antennas. Antennas are just wires. They're wires of a specific shape or size. That means that when you feed an AC signal into them, they radiate electromagnetic energy uh, in a certain frequency with a certain transmission pattern. But an antenna is just a conductive piece of metal. And so anytime you have a wire, there is the potential for that wire to act like a receiving antenna. Um, shield, and so what will happen is that you'll get, either you'll get uh, noise coming into the wires that makes the power noisier and therefore makes the radio and radio receivers need clean power because they're receiving an extraordinarily weak signal. The signal coming into a GPS receiver or, or even a video receiver, if your quadcopter's flying far away, it's extraordinarily weak. And a small amount of environmental noise or noise inside the system can mean that you can't amplify it effectively. <clears throat> so shielding the wires, if the problem that you're having is that your wires are picking up electrical noise, shielding the wires can help with that. Twisting the wires can help with that. These are things that can help. <clears throat> 